Hey guys, so I wanted to do a, an update on my son's cloth diapers, um, as well as um, a 16 month update, but he's not in the room, so I'm going to just do the cloth diaper aspect. We just got finished doing the flats and cloth diaper challenge. It was awesome fun. Um, I am going to show you some of the things I used during the challenge, and if you didn't get it, I'm, well, I didn't document it because Honestly, I just didn't feel up to it. Um, some of the things I used were these. And if you don't recognize this, this is a hospital blanket. <laughs> um, I cut them in half because I didn't like how bulky they looked under his clothing. When it's a whole you know, hospital blanket. I'd rather just change them more often and have something that looks thinner and cuter under his pants than to have his butt look like he has a balloon butt. So, I'm not saying that everybody's baby looked that way, but that's how he looked. So, basically, I fold it this way. I'm, I use the, I use mostly my bummers. I have um, four of these. Um, these are sized um, covers. Really great covers. I've been using them for over a year, and they work great. Honestly, I would recommend this diaper, this diaper cover to anybody. I bought them used. The, um pre-folds that came with them are great they were also used and they work great so yeah I use this and this is one of my this is one of my go-to diapers to be honest it has a double gusset it is really great diaper fits him very well and it worked really well during the um the challenge it was easy to wash another item that I use um during the challenge were my flips I love love bum genius I love flips I use these these are very very good diapers um, another, I used a t-shirt, this one's stuffed with a t-shirt, and I did use some pockets, um, hand washing pockets is not as fun, it's not as easy, but I used a t-shirt one day, because I just wanted to give it a try, it's not my normal, um, routine, I usually use flats or pre-folds, but, these are a few of the diapers I used, like I said, bummers, flip, um, a kind of bomb. I let me see what else did I use. It's, this is my bum genius. I like I love bum genius when I'm going out. I feel like this is a trustworthy diaper I can use at any time. Along with my flip, my kawaii, my Elva and my Grovius. I can trust those diapers. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a flea back home. And my Best Bottoms. Um, I love Best Bottoms. It's a really great cover. Um, I did not like the insert that comes with it. Now, I don't consider my son a very heavy wetter, but the insert that was in it, he would soak through every time. And this diaper, honestly, is a really good diaper. It would hold. One time I opened the diaper up, and he had liquid puddled inside the diaper with the insert. So I do know that you can purchase better inserts with them, but I do prefer using pre-folds. This is what it's stuffed with now, a pre-fold. Since the challenge is over and I can use my wash machine, I'm going back to my pre-folds. Um, and my flats. I, I do mostly use flats and pre-folds. This is a good diaper as well, but I do not like the way it looks on my son. It makes his butt look big, um, and I can never really get it to fit properly. I, it's just... It takes too much work to fit this diaper, to get this diaper to work. Um, these are awesome diapers. These, I think, are Elva's. Let me see. Yeah, these are Elva babies. I have two of them. I've had them for about a year. They are the ones with the color snaps. It doesn't, well, it doesn't have, this one doesn't have color snaps, but it's opened on both ends, and it agitates out. It has a pre-fold in it. This one has a, um... Gerber pre-fold, which also sucks. I'm sorry, Gerber, but they do. And this one has a flat in it. This is one of the flats I was using, and I purchased these about a year ago, and they are awesome. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what the name of these flats are because I can't remember. There are no holes in it. It has held up. This, this, it, this, this is really great. This flat, this piece of fabric is awesome. Um. It's awesome. Seriously, that's all I can say. I can't even think of what it's called, what's the name of the um, company to tell you, but these are some freaking awesome flats. I bought it off the Kelly Closet. If I can remember, I'll put it down in the description below. 
<laughs> but these are awesome. They worked very well. I think I got them on sale because I wanted to try some flats last year around this time um, for the challenge last year. So I purchased them and they work great. I've used them for about a year now. So that's the gist of everything I use. Um, I am a avid liner user. These are all my liners. I keep them in this supply bag. And it just, they, they work great. I like this company. And I get it off of eBay. You get 200 for 8 bucks with this company. These bio liners. Um, this is a, they get, you get two of these packs for $8. And you can, it doesn't tell you you can wash them, but you can actually wash these and they come out pretty much the same shape. Some other liners will come out looking like this. <laughs> but this one comes out pretty much like this and you just flatten it, straighten it out and you can use it again. Um, obviously, a liner is just, you know, you put it inside the diaper and when the baby poops, if it's solid, you just dump it. If it's liquid, you still dump it, but you know. You probably have a little bit on the diaper. And that's, it normally happens, to be honest. I mean, not every diaper change. I mean, to be honest, I can use the liner sometime and he'll poop, 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 poop. And it's just always in the liner and just dump, throw the diaper in my wet bag and I'm good. Um, another item I used during the challenge and I still use, I've been using for about a year, is this Planet Wise bag. It is awesome. It's, I hang this on my door. It is in still really, really great shape. I have not had an issue out of this bag at all. I love this bag. This bag, I think, will actually be around for a long, long time. Sorry, for something in my eye. So that's just that's the gist of it. Um, you know, that's what I used during the challenge, except for the liners. You couldn't use those. And because I couldn't use my disposable liners, I did make some out of a fleece blanket <laughs> and I know it's cut horribly but I just quickly cut up something really quick so I can throw it inside the diaper to use and it worked pretty good um one change I have, I'm doing with his diapers now is I use regular washcloths I bought these at um, Walmart you can get 18 of them for four bucks these are, are used for his butt only and I because I can't stand using the little baby washcloths any longer those are too small they're they don't get everything off so I'm constantly using maybe three or four just to try to clean his butt I can grab one of these and that's what I use and there was four bucks for 18 of them and they work great and so obviously these are always I just got finished pulling out my diaper laundry so these are always with the diapers and um you can tell the difference between these and my regular washcloths because they're rough <laughs> they're like they feel like um hospital washcloths but they work pretty good and so that's it for his diapers. Um, he, I still use baby powder on him. And this is the Family Dollar brand. I just keep buying this brand. It's just pure, pure corn, uh, pure cornstarch. So, and it's got aloe vera and vitamin E. I don't know. I just put it on him. I like it. Um, for the most part, that's it for my diapers. You know, he uses about six diapers a day. Um. He's pretty good doing diaper changes. Uh, normally, he's at the point right now where he knows he has to get a diaper change. And I think he's actually close to being ready to potty train. Because he'll come to me when he needs a diaper change. I mean, he doesn't want it on him. Um, I've also caught him hiding when he gets to poop. Because I'm like, why are you pooping on yourself, you know? But I also like if I let him run around without a diaper. Because he's getting a little red. Um, he won't poop or pee. He'll hold it until he gets a diaper and then he'll poop and pee. Um, I have some cutesy eBay diapers I bought for like five bucks. These are diapers he can only use at home because they leak horribly. But, um, yeah, that's it for my diapers. That's what I use. You know, comparing this eBay diaper that I paid five bucks to, to this Econobomb, um, this works so well. This Econobomb, you don't hear a lot of, I don't hear a lot of good things about them. I don't know, a lot of people don't like them because it's just plain, but I think if you're looking for affordability, afford, yeah, um, then you, this is an actual good option. I think you can get three Econobomb covers and 12 um, pre-folds for 
fifty dollars and I, this has lasted a year the pre-fold is still in great shape and I use them all the time so I'm pretty sure you could use this account bomb for a year or longer maybe two years two well definitely for two years because it's still in really great shape they don't like or anything so I'm pretty sure you can do that two years and diaper your kids for 50 bucks so that's the end of this video I just wanted to talk about the cloth diaper challenge and how awesome it was um I know I didn't tell you how I wash my diapers I used a regular mop bucket for all the poop diapers and I used the sink for I think I already said this once before <laughs> for my wet diapers and then I started doing it once a day instead of I did start out trying to do it every two days and then I had too many diapers and I just didn't want to be washing that long then the next day I tried um just doing poopy diapers whenever they got poopy whenever I had them but then he decided he wanted to go through poopy diaper every diaper wanted to be a poop diaper so and the washing 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 which got to be irritating so finally I just went back to dumping the diaper throwing it in my wet bag and at the end of the day every day washing diapers and that worked out great for us um you know as soon as I got everybody in bed it was quiet I had a few minutes I would go in put my diapers in the soak get the soap in there, agitate them a little bit, let them sit and soak for about an hour. Then I go back and um, scrub, 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 and rinse, 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 and it was done. Not hard at all. So I know that's a um, viable option. If I have my washing machine and dryer dies, I can actually do it. So that's it. I'm going to end this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.